Welcome car audio enthusiasts. I have been busting to bring you some progress on Daniel's car. You might remember Daniel from Sydney in 2018. I spoke to Daniel and this car had sat for 16 years. It's his little 1998 Audi with a system that was maybe 50% finished, but the more we've scratched around, it's probably about 30% finished. Finally got a door up and running and installed. There was a lot of work to bring that uh, door back to life. The MDF had kind of rotted a little bit, so it was a lot of effort. I'd like to bring you some progress. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so what I thought I'd do was quickly show you the door trim here and I'll do some close up shots how it was before. Um, so this MDF that's been used has been, it's quite old but it's also a really low grade MDF and as soon as I started to do any drilling into it, um, it just turns to powder so there's no way we can we can use the bulk of it to secure a speaker. So I've had to uh, grind some of this away, router it out, um, and then put a lot of epoxy in, and then bed in some T-nuts at the back, all in epoxy, and that actually has been quite stable and worked really well to hold the door. I've also done some fiberglassing on the inside and all on the back of the door trim as well. Lots of fiberglass, especially on these Audi door trims because you'll see these clips here, they don't have much um, material around the base of them and there's such a heavy trim now with all the speakers in. Fiberglass all this up, fixed up this bit of mess at the back here. Yeah, so we'll show you some video on that. Um, these speakers are in. Um, you'll probably see some on the video now. I'm just popping out the grills, the beautiful scan speakers and they sound fantastic, I have to tell you. So hard if, if you could hear how good they are just on a video. But I've hooked up a simple three-way crossover from a set of Canton RS 3.22s simple passive crossover just to hear them to see if they were sounding okay check if there's any vibrations in the doors and I sat there and listened to it for about 20 minutes just running through my uh, mp3 player listening to tunes going that is phenomenal it's so good they are very big door trims and when you shut the door here they're obviously firing into your leg which is not ideal however I'm pretty certain the way this car is set up it's more of a doors open uh, demonstration car but still even with the door shut just with the right door it wasn't too bad I think with a bit of tuning and some EQ you'll probably be able to bring the sound stage up at the moment it's a bit in the floor but of course it's just one door running on a passive crossover so I'm not too worried about that so I'll take you through some of the other things now, what we did on the car, and um, you'll see the progress we've made, including our fancy little door grills. The first step was to clean out all the old glue and MDF used on the inside of the door where the speakers will mount. We've refiberglassed the back of those. We've had to use a heavy epoxy to strengthen the MDF, which is very powdery. We've gone through and sound deadened the inside of the door trims and fiberglassed the back of the trim, taking great care not to damage any of the leather trimming has been quite a challenge.
We then drilled some of the MDF and inserted neo magnets, and those magnets align with the grill, which has a metal insert, and the grills will now snap into place rather than how they were designed to try and press in. I noticed that trying to press them in would da someone had damaged all the leather. The doors are then all been sound deadened, as you can see on the video. We've completely treated the door two times with um, heavy duty Stinger sound deadener and a little bit of focal BAM and fiberglass at the back of the door, cleaned out the doors in terms of finding where there were some obstructions and removed them. And now we have a fully functioning right hand door. So really impressed with the door, the way they sound now. Okay, we've got these great AVI mid-base drivers. These are made in Canada. So these are just, I swear, they are so nice. Look at the magnet. That is huge. Great mid-base drivers, and then they're coupled with these um, Scanspeak mid-range and a, a tweet is the R29, and a little four-inch mid-range driver. Just so nice and I would hate to have to price that up because they're probably $2,000 worth of front door speakers. So we have now completely stripped out all the old wood and gunk and airbag bottle that was in the boot and we are ready to now start cleaning it up, sound deadening, looking at installing the electrical system, the batteries, getting rid of those awful brackets which have been hacked off and start turning his boot into the canvas, I guess, so where we can install the amplifiers. So, we have run the cabling now for the Pioneer 7950. This is the DVD player. Um, has a screen that comes out. Can I tell you how heavy this thing is? It is massive. So, the problem we've got is there's nothing to support it inside the dash. So, right in this hole here is nothing. So, it looks like you might have to take the dash off to actually build a cradle for this to sit properly. And the other problem we've got is it's being leather trimmed and not enough room for the Epic 160, which is the audio control unit that sits underneath it. So I've spent a bit of time thinking about how to solve this problem and um, so far no solutions. That's not necessarily a good thing, but we will get there. Yeah. All right, let's have a look in the back. So what we've had to do is gone through and put a few extra pieces of MDF in here to brace these sub enclosures. And again, these were made using the stretch material with some fiberglass, but it needs a whole bunch more work. So we've added more fiberglass. We're gonna layer it with deadness soon. We went through and we've waterproofed all the MDF as well. Um, so we're getting there. I think more sound deadening and then we'll be ready for installing the two focal subs. Not sure how the passive radiator box will work in the boot yet. Again, something else to figure out in the next six months. All right, let's keep going.
Thanks everyone for watching. Look, I hope that's a nice little overview of the Audi to date. So much more work to do, uh, really time constrained at the moment, so I'm trying to do as much as I can in the time that I have. But it's starting to get there. I really love the way the doors have come out. Um, they've got the left door to finish off and then really get stuck into the, uh, into the trunks. So thanks for watching everyone. Please don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook. We've got our Facebook group as well and Instagram. And coming up is the Old School SPL Challenge. So if you don't know about that, just get on Facebook and put in Old School SPL Challenge and jump on the Facebook group. Connect to that and there'll be some great prizes and um, see what you can do with your old amplifiers. Get them out of the shelf and blow the dust off and let's make some noise. Stay tuned everyone, thanks for watching. See you next time.